the information age. It's all we've ever known, Winston and me and a million others like us. Sure, we read newspapers, magazines, watch TV and movies, surf the net. The information age was a fact of life. <laughs> a fact of life. We just decided to do a little fact checking. You ready? Winston! Oh, Smith, hello. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm ready. You know, uh, Winston, everybody thinks we're crazy. Well, maybe we are, Smith. Maybe we are. Our plan was to set out by foot in search of the legendary free flow of information. We weren't sure it existed, but if it did, we knew we were far from it. Day one. Viewing it from the outside for the first time, the tangled structure which was our home dominates the entire landscape as far as the eye can see. A giant maze of pipes, tubes, and cables. The smallest, at least the smallest visible, just a hair's width. The largest about the circumference of a standard garden hose. Braces, brackets, supports, joints, couplings, so densely configured our feet never touch the ground. The first day passes, then the second. We continue due north, following the main shaft of the information pipeline, and then, on the fifth day. Smith, look. Is it? Yes, yes, it's just as we'd hoped. It's land, exposed, natural, sun-kissed, rain-soaked land. By, by God, it is. You, you know, I thought the structure was becoming a bit less dense, but I was afraid it was just my optimistic imagination. <laughs> look, 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 there's more land ahead. Y you can see it. My God, it's real. Winston, come on. There's more land. Come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's real. Smith, don't hurt yourself. It it's not going anywhere. Day 12. With each day's travel, the overall structure of the maze continues to grow less massive. Though fewer in number, individual pipes are much larger. The deafening buzz and hum of the pipeline's flow has subsided steadily, though I still hear it in my sleep. Curiously, I hadn't perceived the incredible noise of the structure until it began to dissipate. The maze is less complex, with fewer couplings on the main north-south pipe, which maps our route. This conduit, like the others, grows wider in circumference each day and is now just below my own height at six feet. At this rate, by tomorrow or the next day, I'll not be able to see over the giant tube, a disconcerting thought in this strange and barren terrain. Uh, Winston? What is it, Smith? How much further do you think? Uh, it's hard to tell. You're not losing your nerve, are you? No, uh, no, no, it's not that. It's, it's just, well, I'm tired and a little bored, you know? Don't get me wrong, Winston, you're a fine fellow and good company and all that, but, uh, you know, it's been 12 days, 12 days with, with no information. I, I don't know how much longer I can take it. I, I warned you, Smith. You knew the risks when we started out. I, wait, do you hear something? Oh my god, that pipe. It's about to... Smith, look out! Ah, Winston, help me! Poor Smith was standing right in its path. A sudden burst of information. Hang on, Smith, I won't let it carry you away! I think it's contaminated! As if from nowhere, a quick strike maintenance team appeared. We had seen these teams before at a distance doing routine maintenance on the pipeline, mostly at night. With lightning precision and uniform step, they set to their work. Half of the team disappeared behind a hastily constructed barricade in front of the burst pipeline. The barricade deflected the information on a harmless angle, while they, I can only assume, repaired the structure. Meanwhile, the other half of the team shone bright lights away from the incident and onto a man in a dark blue suit. Thank you for coming, ladies and gentlemen. In order to facilitate the most comprehensive conflagration of system analysis, the controlling legal authorities will commission a study post-haste. The American people deserve a fair hearing into these matters, and we are doing everything in our power to facilitate the facilitation of the facility without public funding. And now, Donnie will dance. 
Donnie?